Hello and welcome everyone. This is Sandeep and in the earlier video we saw at the internal implementation of our drawing app we saw uh, what a dependent is and what a dependency is. We looked at the code and we also observed that there were some problems with this code. So in this video we are going to rewrite our code so that we don't have these problems. So we can rewrite square request like this and we can have draw shape which is an interface over here so instead of having draw square which is a concrete implementation directly we can have draw shape over here and the draw shape we shouldn't shouldn't be instantiating it ourselves inside this class we can accept that uh, as a dependency in the constructor and the make request uh, remains same as earlier so the end-to-end -end flow would look like this that when a user clicks on a draw square button then we instantiate draw shape to have draw square and then uh, we instantiate square request and supply uh, draw square over there and then we call method make request so this is end to end flow how it looks like one thing to notice here is that uh, square request would be dependent and uh, draw shape would be dependency because square uh, square request to do some logic inside make request depends on draw shape hence uh, square request is a dependent and draw shape is a dependency now we look at these problems now in this part of the code these problems don't exist at all so we'll iterate one by one through these problems and see so uh, now we are having draw shape which is an interface inside square request so square request right now is aware uh, of draw shape uh, that is to say it's capable to call any one of the methods inside draw shape and when it calls any one of the methods inside draw shape the call through polymorphism gets actually delegated uh, to a particular concrete implementation of draw shape which is supplied over here in square request constructor okay so this is how square request is capable to deal with any one of the subtypes of draw shape so imagine that scenario which I told you earlier that if you have a class draw big square which extends draw square over here and it has got a better implementation to draw square and management takes decision to use that draw big square instead of using the draw square then in that particular uh, case a developer doesn't need to come over here and modify anything at all in this class in square request class all a developer needs to do is uh, he has to modify the caller uh, over here he what he has to do is he has to instantiate draw shape to have new big uh, draw big square instead of uh, draw square and then um, developer can supply the draw big square inside square request and make a call to make request so uh, this part of the code is not tightly coupled but there are some problems in this code then so though uh, we are not instantiating a draw shape over here but with that we have delegated the responsibility to the caller uh, of uh, this piece of the code that whosoever is calling make request they should take the responsibility of instantiating square request and supplying the proper draw shape over there which is over here right so uh, now one thing uh, we can observe here is that there are so many problems here we are instantiating we are whole purpose is just to obtain a square request but to do that we end up instantiating a draw shape also which will either have draw square or draw big square right so here google juice can help us google juice tells us that hey i am available for you and you don't have to create objects in your application you can delegate the responsibility to me okay so uh, what we can do is uh, we can use google juice we can say that square request r is equal to We'll write some code, don't bother about this code right now. I'll explain you in further videos how we can write that code. But we'll write some code to opt in square request from Juice. And Juice will, what Juice will say, okay, I have to produce a square request, and, but it, it accepts draw shape. So it internally, you know, instantiates draw shape also with some logic and uh, supplies it to square request and gives back a square request. So what we have done is, uh, earlier we were supplying dependency ourselves but now we have outsourced that logic to uh, external framework which is Google Juice. So when dependencies are not managed uh, um, logically by yourself but they are managed by Google Juice that is by some external framework then 
the mechanism that this mechanism of injecting the dependencies or providing the mechanism or providing the uh, dependency is called as dependency injection okay so in general terms if i have to explain you what a dependency injection is then i would say that instead of providing the dependencies yourself if you are outsourcing that logic to uh, some external framework such as google juice then it would be called as dependency injection so uh, now coming back to our change in requirement so though a change in requirement happened uh, we earlier needed to change over here so just understand that whenever there is a change in requirement a uh, developer might need to do some code changes but it would be great that if those changes are not in the code but those are present in some configurational uh, files right so if you are using google juice then you can do that earlier you were not using google juice you are using, using this part of the code so a developer needed to come over here instantiate draw big square instead of draw square but now that you are using google juice you do not need to come over here and change anything at all here well you might want to go to some configurational file of uh, google juice and do some changes over there but those will be purely configurational files which will just say that what dependency uh, google juice should provide when draw shape is needed uh, either it should be draw square or draw big square so that kind of a configurational uh, information will be present with google juice that we might need to modify but as far as the code changes are concerned we do not need to modify anything here so this code looks clean so uh, this is how this uh, if you have this square request and this part of the code uh, this is very clean and not at all tightly coupled and now we don't even break single responsibility principle because we are not instantiating objects ourselves but we have delegated the responsibility to google juice okay and these are good for unit testing because we are not using new keyword anymore to instantiate objects so uh, finally what we are going to have is we are going to have this part of the code only where we have square request and we take the help of google juice to instantiate square request and uh, which would internally take care of supplying or injecting the draw shape uh, internally and that's how we'll obtain square request and we can make a call to make request so in this video what we have learned is we have learned what a dependency injection is and we wrote some clean code uh, which is pretty much cleaner uh, when compared to the earlier version, right? So in further videos, we are going to write the code to implement uh, this drawing app. Thank you very much.